Hi friends, how about an easy step-by-step -step version of making marshmallow fondant? This video not only shows you on how to make marshmallow fondant without a microwave oven, yes, without a microwave oven, but it also shows you on how to store, color and make designs out of your fondant. This recipe lasts for months and so can be prepared in advance. Ingredients required as shown. Shortening is used to stop the marshmallows from sticking to your pans and hands. So here I'm dabbing them all over my pan. Now add in your mini marshmallows. Use mini because they are much easier to melt plus white color is best if you want to add different colors later on. If you can't get mini marshmallows, I suggest you cut the large ones into 4 parts as shown. Next add 3 tablespoons of water. Heat them on medium flame. Use a rubber spatula and stir them gently. This is to stop them from burning. Melt them until no lumps could be seen. Switch off flame. Add 3 fourth of confectionery sugar first and rest as needed till you get a dovey consistency. Make sure to prep your countertop in advance with shortening followed by powdered sugar. Because the longer you let the fondant to sit in your bowl, they start to set and will be hard to scrape down. Dab shortening on your hands before kneading. Also use powdered sugar to stop your dough from sticking. It's a bit tedious, but once the fondant starts to cool, it will all come together. Keep kneading softly until they don't stick to your hands. I relied more on powdered sugar than on shortening. To store dab shortening on your hands and to the cling film. Knead the dough once again gently. Make them into a ball shape. Cover them with cling film and place them in an airtight bag. Store them in fridge. Before using the fondant, keep it out an hour or so, so that it can soften. Before adding color, knead them gently and press them to your required shapes. I use rose gel food color on my fondant to get a baby pink color. Make sure to fold over the color like seen. This is to stop the color from skewing out and staining your hands. Add more color as required. Do not over knead as your body temperature or your room temperature could affect your fondant. If it's too hot, knead well to keep the right softness. There you have your easy marshmallow fondant. Give me a feedback by commenting below so that I can answer to you. Hi! On the left side of your window screen,
click on the logo to visit my channel. Also, don't forget to like and share my video with your friends and subscribe as it helps me to notify you about my upcoming new videos.